this. All right, this is May 2018, question number 10. It says, a transformation T is defined by the matrix um, 2, 2, minus 1, sorry, 2, minus 1, 2, 0. The point A, which is minus um, 2, 3, is mapped onto the point A prime, which is A, B on the T. Find the value of A and B. Actually, if you don't know it, it's actually very similar to what you have been doing before. Now, um, when you apply um, a transformation to a point, what you do is you multiply the, the transformation by the point. So this is 2 minus 1, 2, 0. And when I apply this to, sorry. Okay. When I apply this to the point um, um, A, which is minus 2, 3, it becomes the point A prime, which is A, B. So let's apply 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Minus 1 times 3 is minus 7. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. 0 times 3 is 0. And this is equal to a, B. A, B. So therefore, um, A, B is equal to minus 11 minus 4. So A is equal to minus 11 and B is equal to minus 4. So when two matrices are equal, corresponding elements are equal. Corresponding means the elements which are in the same position. Then it says determine the transformation that maps A prime back to A. Now listen, it's if um, a transformation takes you from A to A prime, the transformation that's going to take you from from A prime back to A is the inverse of the transformation. So T inverse is the answer that you want, is equal to one over the determinant of T times adjoint T. So let's say this again. If a, trans, if a transformation T takes you from A to A prime, the transformation inverse t will take you back from a from a prime back to a i will take you from a prime back to a so the determinant of t would be equal to um two times zero is what zero let's write it out it's going to be two times zero minus minus one times two sir uh-huh sir negative seven upper i enough will be that enough will be negative three let's find out two times this yes you're right it should be minus three all right so let's correct it All right, so minus four, minus three. So it's minus three. I think my brain just went ahead of me a little. Morning, everyone. This is um, minus four, minus three is minus seven. And so A is minus seven. All right, thank you. Um, now we're doing for the, going for the um, determinant. 2 times 0 is 0, minus 1 times 2. So we're going to get um, here, we have what? 0, negative times the negatives are positive. 1 times 2 is 2. So the determinant is equal to 2. So T inverse 
is one over two a joint um, T for a joint T you're going to switch around the leading diagonal element so zero goes here two goes here the other two stay where they are but their signs change to positive one and minus two let's finish this multiplying by a half is the same as saying divide by two so this is zero over two one over two minus two over two two over two and so the matrix t inverse would be zero minus one a half one so the matrix that would map so the matrix that um maps a prime back to a is the matrix a in t inverse which is zero a half minus one one all right let's um move to finishing this question it says um another transformation p is defined by um zero one one minus two it says um find the single two by two matrix that represents the combined transformation of t followed by p all right so t followed by p t followed by p to get that transformation you're going to multiply um p you have to um multiply p and t together um sorry it's p t followed by p all right so when you multiply them you're going to multiply p t the first shall be the last and the last shall be the first so what you do is that whatever transformation is um whatever transformation is last that's the one you're going to put first so it is p which is 0 1 1 minus 2 multiplied by t which is what's t again i think it was 2 minus 1 2 0 all right so let's multiply i'm going to multiply the top row by the left column to get the top left value zero times two is zero one times two is two top row right column zero times minus one is zero one times zero is also zero bottom row left column one times two is two minus two times two is minus four bottom row right column one times one times minus one is minus one and two times what minus two times zero is zero and so the answer here is two minus two zero minus one all right so this matrix will represent the is the is the single two by two matrix that represents the combined what transformation t followed by p it says ends ends means that whatever you done you did you just did must be used in what you're going to do next ends find the image of um one four under the combined transformation well, to find the image of a point under a transformation, you multiply the transformation by the point. Multiply by the point, which is one, four. And so we're going to end up with um, two times, two times one is two, zero times four is zero. Minus two times um, one is minus two. 1 times minus 4 is minus 4. So under the co combined transformation, so this becomes um, um, 2 minus 6. So under the combined transformation, um, t followed by p 
the point one four becomes the point or is mapped onto the point two minus six. All right, this will be the object and this will be the image. All right, I don't think we're done. I think there is what um, the vector part of the question. All right, here's the vector part of the question. It says the diagram below, not John's scale, shows a quadrilateral um, A, B, C, D, in which A, B is M, um, C, D is 3M, and um, A, D is N. It says complete the statement below um, on the geometric properties of the following vectors. The, ve the vector A, B, and the vector um, D, C are parallel. They are parallel. How do I know they are parallel? When two vectors are parallel, they are scalar multiple of the same base vector. When two vectors are parallel, they are scalar multiples of the same base vector. The vector AB is 1M, and the vector CD, BC, sorry, is 3M. Both of them have the same base vector M. All right, one is one times M, and the other is three times M. Two vectors are parallel when they are scalar multiples of the same base vectors. Then now we are told that the mod of B is what? What times the mod of D? Well, that's simple. Mod is talking about length. The mod of um, the vector AB is actually one third of the vector what? Um, DC. Whatever um, AB is, DC is three times that amount. So AD would be one third of whatever DC is. So AD is one third times DC. In other words, if you divide the length of DC by three, you would get the length of AB. Multiplying by a third is the same as divide by three. I, I says, express BC in terms of, um, in terms of, m and n here's something that well you probably never heard anybody say because i didn't say to you the vector bc would be equal to the vector a b a plus a d plus d c this is sort of like called a polygon a polygon law of vectors. This is the polygon law of vectors. And all that's saying is that to get from A to C, I could go from, sorry, to get from B to C, I could go from B to A, from A to D, and then from what? D to C. This is the polygon law of vectors. It means therefore that this is, now since B A is M, sorry, since A B is M, B A would be minus M. AD is N and DC is 3M. Now, minus M plus 3N is plus 3M is 2M plus N. The vector BC is 2M plus N. All right, that's not the end of the question. So let's go to the next page. L is the midpoint of CD. Find BL. Um, L is the midpoint of CD. Find BL in terms of M and N. So let's get back to our diagram. L is the midpoint. Well, it's there. Where to find? Where to find BL? All right, so let's go back. Where to find this, BL? I could say that BL is equal to, um, is equal to BC plus CL. 
All right. So um, BL, this is triangle of vectors, is equal to BC plus um, CL. All right, so um, BC we already found. So this is BC plus CL, which is minus one half of um, minus one half of DC, minus one half of DC. BC is 2M plus N. Positive times the negatives are negative, a half. BC, which is 3M. So this is um, 2M over 1 plus N over 1 minus 3M over 2. LCM is 2. This is 4M plus 2N minus 3M. This would be equal to M plus 2N over 2 or 1 half M plus 2N. All right, and that would be the end of the question.